show. This is it's gonna awesome. be awesome. Look at these cars. Great. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Morning. How you doing? <laughs> Toys for you guys. <laughs> it's about seven o'clock trying to get one of the cars started to go pick up the mare. Gladstones in this most incredible car show. Well, we're glad to have you at Gladstones, and uh, anytime you want to be here, come on. All right, <laughs> it's, we're gonna have a blast today. We got a bunch of Packards, we got a bunch of really cool cars, so we're gonna walk around to ourselves. All okay, right. thanks. So they were reenacting the wedding. I figured you'd be taking a picture of this car. Yeah, look at that engine. <laughs> Beautiful. Fantastic. You just went and picked up the mare. What was that like? That was incredible. Yeah. Beautiful house. Great it's like, man. It's like a compound. He's really funny. He's got a great sense of humor. Everybody's got a sense of humor when they're driving in a Packard. Yeah, and I asked him, I go, who owns this beautiful establishment? And he goes, if you ask me one more time, I'm going to have to shoot you. <laughs> yeah, He's and awesome. from the mayor, you have to take that seriously. Yeah, I'll, I'll yeah. take it seriously. Okay. Wheels and Waves, the coolest car show on the planet. Oh, by far. 
well, quite far. Almost. Yeah. We're, get, we're getting there. And uh, it's pretty good for the first one. Let me not tell too you. bad. What's your What's the best car for you? Um, I got to tell you, I, I'm a big fan of Rodriguez because I'm old, kind of old guy, and that's kind of what I do. Yeah, but so. Chuck wins every show he goes to. He just snaps his finger, and, and suddenly that he's got a whole room. True, full, true. Full of awards, as he should. It's but I'm a big Porsche car. fan too. We had a few Porsches here. Those okay. are fantastic too. too so. What's your website? Uh, my website is uh, dailydriverproject.com. Uh, okay. The Daily Driver Project, and all, all right. I do is do car shows like this fantastic one in front of you. Yeah. Yeah. That's what else now it is. Sounded pretty good. Yeah. Any car that you could take from the show right now. You, can't, you can't have Chuck's car, but something else. Uh, the Ferrari that's on the other side of us is pretty nice. Are in it. Oh, yeah. well, that'd be a problem. Yeah. I, I mean, of course, there was a cop that just drove by. He may get in trouble. <laughs> he left. That. Yeah. He left. But he did come to the show yeah, and he they, loved the show. Exactly. He's bringing his kids back. That's, That's always a good sign. Right. Right. All a fabulous success for this show. Really great turnout. Probably about 60 to 70 cars. Not too bad. Uh, I, I fortunately. Breakfast at Gladstones. Yeah. Almost. Big day. Well, not not huge. I mean, big in the sense of large leading up to this. Uh, I don't know if you know what it takes to run a car show or to put a car show together, but it's not like you just say, hey, everybody, uh, we're doing the show. Come on over, you know, and we just kind of hang out. Uh, there's a lot more involved with that. There's, um, well, there's a lot. There's a lot of things to do. And this has been coming for the past three months, uh, meeting with Mayor Reardon and going through back and forth with Gladstones and all the things that you have to do that to coordinate this, you know, all the questions that might come up and blah, blah, blah. But for all intents and purposes, uh, we had a spectacular show today. We had a turnout of about 60 cars. Now, uh, depending on your perspective, that could be like, well, that's not a lot, or that could be like, wow, that's a really good turnout for a first time show. Uh, and the truth is, it actually is. It's a really good turnout for a first time show, but it's not so much the, the amount of cars, it's the quality of the cars that were there. And there were some spectacular rides at this show. Thank you for Mayor Reardon uh, for coming uh, in one of the Packards and hanging out. Uh, you know, he's, he's not, you know, he's not a young guy. So uh, for him to come to a show with a big smile on his face, uh, that was a big plus and, and we had especially a good time with him. Big thanks to Scott Martin for taking photos. Uh, there's gonna be a link in the show notes here that goes goes to Scotty's page and all the, I don't know if it's Facebook page or whatever the link is, uh, to all the photos that he shot for that day. Uh, great photographer. Uh, if you need a someone to take pictures at your car show, uh, look this guy up, check out his stuff. He's, Scotty!
But most of all, big thanks to you guys for bringing your cars out. I know it's really early, but uh, it's extra special when those cars are there on display and you get to uh, um, hang out and enjoy yourself. Chuck, you know who I'm talking to. Thank you and your son for bringing out your very, very cool cars. But everybody else, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Shows like this are nothing without you guys. So uh, we're looking forward to next month. It's actually going to be on Father's Day, the same day as the Rodeo Drive Car Show. Don't freak out. It's going to be fine. Rodeo Drive doesn't start till right after this show is over. So if you want something really cool to do for Father's Day, come to Wheels and Waves on the Father's Day. I'm not sure what date it is. I'll let you know later. And then go to the Rodeo Drive show and have some lunch and you're going to see amazing cars. All right, that's it for log 330. Yes, I said it. 330. We're closing in on the big 365. Very excited. A one full year of vlogs uh, and uh, we were nothing when we started and now a lot going on every time I go to a show people give me the thumbs up for being able to see cool cars in the vlog and that's what this is about so be good have a great week have a especially awesome week it's all up to you man you got to get out there and make this week awesome so do it and we'll see you tomorrow oh man I'm tired <laughs>